Welcome. Last time we studied international law and world history. Today we will take up absolute spirit and the spheres of art and religion. First, a brief intro. The science of spirit studies the actualization of spirit. Its goal is spirit's absolute knowledge of itself, which is absolute freedom. And this takes place in absolute spirit, where spirit, as absolute, is totally complete and not relative to anything. Spirit is thus the idea as a perfect unity of subject or concept and object of subjective spirit and objective spirit. Recall that spirit and the idea are one. For, quote, spirit is the self-knowing actual idea, end quote. That is, though the idea, concept or thought, in logic, is the truth and all reality, the idea there is only abstract or in itself, hence does not know itself. In nature, too, the idea does not know itself. Only in spirit, and at the very end, in philosophy, does the idea have a complete and perfect knowledge of itself. The idea in truth is what religion calls God. And God, for Aristotle, <clears throat> as well as for Hegel, is self-thinking thought. Noesis, noesios. Also recall that spirit is everything, is infinite, all reality, and absolutely free, que not limited by another. Again, spirit, in a word, is absolute, or the absolute. Thus, spirit must transcend objective spirit and the state, since the state is finite and particular, as limited by other states, and is in time. That is, it must do so in order to realize and know itself as absolute, infinite, and absolutely free. So we now move from finite spirit in subjective and objective spirit to infinite or absolute spirit the last stage of the science of spirit, in which spirit finally becomes the self-knowing actual idea. Again, the absolute idea is the unity of the concept of freedom spirit and the reality of freedom spirit. And it finally exists as knowledge, as the idea's knowledge of itself. First, a la Plato, in art, in intuition, then in religion, in feeling and representation, and finally in philosophy or science, in thought, the idea's highest form. What is more, since the object, the idea, is absolute and infinite, my absolute freedom is achieved simply by becoming one with the object that is all reality. Note that what follows is just a summary of art, religion, and philosophy. So, please consult Hegel's Aesthetics, Philosophy of Religion, 
and history of philosophy for a complete account.